Fourth of July is this week, and you know what that means. Sunshine and barbecues. And if you can't beat the heat, you could try to beat your meat. No. What's up, throttlers? Aristotle Full Throttle right here. I still have that leftover from VidCon. Uh-oh. It's leaving goo. I'm gonna put that back. America, the beautiful. What is beautiful about America? Movies. And here are five beautiful American movies that are super patriotic and ought to get you pumped up for the 4th of July. One of my favorite movies from the 80s, it's got Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, and it's also got C. Thomas Howell, which sounds like an action. Like, let's go C. Thomas Howell. With a name like that, he should have been in Teen Wolf. Wolverines. That movie takes place in middle America during the Cold War, so there was a big red scare about the Russians invading the United States, and that's what happens in the movie. It kind of confirms everybody's wildest fears about Russia somehow trying to take over America like that would ever happen. Wolverines. This next one makes me feel the need. The need for speed stick, because I'm sweaty right now. I don't know if you can see this, but I have pits. This isn't even sponsored by speed stick, but if it was, you know, I'm not against it. That movie's got Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis, Goose, and Mad Mardigan showing off that finger trick that he does in like every movie. And you know, it's really about how they like to sing love songs to each other and get sweaty and oiled up on the beach and play volleyball. And what's more American than getting a little Greek? Top Gun is great because they show the fighters and there's a lot of money invested in the military and those are actual military fighters and we need the strongest military in the world because we're America, goddammit. There's a lot of American flags in that movie. So they're going to make a sequel to Top Gun and Tom Cruise is going to be in it and the very sexy Val Kilmer is going to be in it and they'll most likely have a sexy fill in female here. Somehow Tom Cruise has a career 40 years long, but for some reason they're not gonna bring back Kelly McGillis because she's over 35 and for all intents and purposes in Hollywood, she may as well be dead. I'm just saying Hollywood is unfair to women. America. And next is a movie by my favorite movie director to hate. Roland Emmerich, Independence Day, or ID4, which for some reason is abbreviated ID4, even though that, that really doesn't make any sense because it's Independence Day or July 4th, it's not Independence 4. I don't get it. If you can get it, explain it to me in the comments below. But it's genuinely a fun ride. That movie's got a lot of stereotypical tropes, and even though it's kind of a big, dumb movie, it knows what it is, so it is what it is. Big and dumb. But, mm, Jeff Goldblum. And that speech that Bill Pullman gives in that movie makes me feel patriotic for the world and reminds me that we should all link arms hand in hand despite our differences because someday, you know, we might all have to fight aliens. And if you want a good old dose of Americana, check out Yankee Doodle Danny with James Cameron. It's not James Cameron, Joe. Change the card. It's James Cagney. It's really good. Is it really good? <laughs> it sure does have music in it. Here's a fun fact. Yankee Doodle Dandy was the first movie in American history to depict an actual current president at the time. I would actually like to see a movie right now depicting our current president. James Cagney was the first person to win an Academy Award for Best Actor in a musical performance, which doesn't really ever happen. Musicals and comedies get the short end of the stick in the Academy, but they actually revamped that recently and got a bunch of people to fill up the Academy. Now like 50% of the Academy are actual diverse people and minorities and people who are in comedy and musicals. So that's gonna change hopefully soon. I can't wait for there to be more musicals for me to make fun of. And of course, every 4th of July, you should break out Captain America. And really, any of the Captain America movies. Including the weird one that was made in Europe in like the 90s that made no sense that featured J.D. Salinger's son as Captain America, which is really weird. You know, J.D. Salinger is the author of Catcher in the Rye. The Catcher in the Rye is a classic American novel and I really recommend that you read it because it's about finding your individuality, not being held back, and taking your freedom into your own hands and, and roughing it about and maybe slapping it a couple times and throwing it to the ground, just like Captain America would want you to. Because what's America if not the land of the free and the home of Dave from Wendy's. He's dead, by the way. Too many burgers. 
What I love about Captain America is he holds firm to his ideals, which are fairness, equality, justice, and freedom, which are all of the major tenets of our United States Constitution. So this 4th of July, I really hope all of you guys are thinking about that. Not only in America, but all over the world, because it's about community, and it's about unity, and it's about equality and fairness. So when you're at that barbecue, holding your wiener in your hands, remember to... Joe, I'm, I'm talking about a hot dog. Okay? When you're holding your wiener in your hands, remember to salute Bill Pullman from Independence Day and listen to that speech because it's rad. It's not just about America, it's about like the world. You know what I'm saying? Here's an honorable mention, Rocky IV, that sequence when Apollo Creed is coming down with his red, white, and blue trunks, and James Brown is singing Living in America. He's all but like living in America. So what's your favorite 4th of July movie that revolves around celebrating this great country, America? Well, you know, once it was, was it ever great? Can we make it great again? Is that, what's, what's that, Joe? Not, no, no talk about that, okay. Well, what's your favorite 4th of July movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it with everybody you know. And turn on those notifications if you can. Remember, it's the midterm elections coming up, so if you want to register to vote, I'm going to leave some information for you down below, because if you don't like the way things are going, you can change that. Yes, you. Not, not the person, well, the person behind you too, if they're watching, they're looking over your shoulder right now on your smartphone while you're sitting on the train. You can vote too, over there, so do it. I'm Aristotle Full Throttle, you bro in the know with the fro, and I'll see you later. It's regional. Some people call it a wiener. I call it a wiener, okay? Wolverines. Thank you.